All right, probably the biggest news to come out of this past week is in regards to everyone's favourite actor, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know, um, he's or well, he has been filming a film called Red One. Um, it also stars what's his name Chris Evans and it's based on it's a Christmas movie with Santa in it I don't know the exact plot details because Santa gets kidnapped and so an elf goes to save him that's that's the plot okay so it sounds stupid but anyway this film's already been delayed and we now somewhat know why so it's been reported that The Rock would show up seven to eight hours late regularly uh, on days that he's supposed to shoot on days that he's also supposed to shoot he would miss out on that day he would just not show up so that's a day lost in production and when he is on set to save time he would pee in a water bottle and give it to a, a producer or a cast member or someone and they would have to go dispose of it um, so the budget for this film is $250 million dollars um, and apparently, because of all these delays and all of these issues with The Rock showing up late and peeing on water bottles, um, it's added another $50 million to the budget of Red One. I don't know if that $250 million is inclusive of that 50 or if it's going to be 250 plus another 50 If it is plus another 50 $300 million for a Christmas movie that is going to probably bomb hard <laughs> is absolutely absurd. Um, so, James, what do you think? Do you think this is... This is just hearsay at the moment, or do you think it's something that Rock can actually do? Because he does appear to be like a genuinely nice guy, like on mm -hmm. screen and behind the cameras and stuff like that. Like it's a known fact. So hearing all of this just sort of shocked me a little bit, but then also didn't surprise me. Did you have the same sort of feelings? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, do you remember when we started talking about you know Fast and Furious, and you know there, there's that beef with Vin Diesel, and we're like, is it? coming more from the rock side or Vin Diesel's side. And, you know, we, we just kind of discussed that. Um, I, I think those talks regarding the rock um, and what we had, we kind of speculated a little bit that it may be at the rock's fault at the end of the day. And I guess this kind of, you know, um, alludes further to that. But let's just put it in the, in the perspective for you, Nan, for anyone watching right now, if you did this at work, if you were working hard at your desk and you're peeing in the bottle and just putting it right beside you, just to save time so you keep working, you're, you're really focused on your job, you're really good at what you do. Is that okay? Would you be, you know, fired or let go, or written warning or whatever it is? If you showed up seven to eight hours, if I showed up seven to eight hours late for work, everybody would be going home. That's not lateness, that's skipping <laughs> days. The, seven to eight hours, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, like if you read that report, man, there is a history of this from multiple different insiders that um, aren't really coming forth in terms of being identified. They are being anonymous and it's um, clear that they are, I guess, putting themselves in a position of risk to uh, divulge this information to everyone here. But I, I, I do think there is some um, legitimacy to these claims made against The Rock. I think there is a a history of it and I think it's coming to light now in terms of what I think about him doing this is that it's something that the industry does need to crack down on because you know adding 50 million to a movie and you know I guess playing a part in its delay is extremely significant and if there's a pattern of this then why would you ever want to employ that kind of person you know like yeah. it, it, it just doesn't make sense to me um, I guess at this stage, it is just, you know, he said, she said kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I, I would say this is something that's, um, pretty, pretty serious. I also heard a further, um, I guess, allegation towards this that him and Ryan Reynolds got into quite a heavy, um, argument about that too. Yeah. For red notice. I heard that mm. as well. And like, they, uh, wouldn't talk to each other. Yeah. Um, and it took like years for them to like mend fences as well. Yeah. Um, and you know, we, we're hearing reports that, you know, he's been late to like fan events at, um, WrestleMania, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, there's all this stuff going on with him and, and he needs to, you know, I guess put it together because the, the rock has a 
very great legacy. I don't think any of us can deny that. I give him, you know, a, a, a ton of shit because he he plays an extension of himself in every movie that he's done. And until A twenty four is the Smashing Machine, um, where he plays a UFC fighter, and it's directed by Benny Safdie. I haven't seen much. I haven't seen acting where he's actually challenging himself. He's been versatile. He's just using his natural charisma and playing an extension of of himself. So. Uh, despite that, I, I do give him a ton of shit for that, but he's extremely likable, as you said. He's very charismatic, and despite the shit we give him, he's still very enjoyable in the roles that he plays. Even if the movies are, you know, mid or they're, they're not great, he, he's not really always a, a bad part or a, a huge negative towards them. So... Yeah, despite that, I still I still like The Rock and I enjoy my movies. And his legacy, he's a massive draw, dude. He's gone from the, the WWE being, you can probably um, correct me on this, being one of the most popular, one of the most iconic kind of um, yeah, he, fighters he's or different. actors, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Both. Wrestlers. <laughs> we call them wrestlers. In, uh, Athletes. In Mm-hmm. Athletes, you know, performers, but yeah, he's considered part of the Mount Rushmore of wrestling. Well, there you go, WWE at least. Yeah, and and then you know he's also, you know, a, a massive um, popular bodybuilder, and now he's one of the biggest actors of all times in terms of box office pull and legacy. There, he do, he she he doesn't want his legacy defined by this report that we're seeing right now. So he either needs to clearly address these issues or there needs to be something, a follow-up to this where we can actually kind of, you know, get some clarity on this and see, because I can see this being, I guess, a rabbit hole for him and he's just going to dig himself a, 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 de- a deeper grave at this point. So, yeah, I mean, I just hope there's more clarity to it and that we can, and that he can, I guess, not do this stuff is, I guess, my, uh, what, what, what do you think about this? Yeah, it did catch me a little bit by surprise mm-hmm. when I saw this. But then also I'm not surprised because of all the stuff that we could see, like how becoming like... A little yeah. bit of a pattern there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it surprised me, but not at the same time. Mm. Um, but I can fully see it happening, you know? Like I can just see him thinking that because um, he's now a board member of TKO, which owns both UFC and WWE, because mm-hmm. um, he's a board member, he can... You know, he's got his own production company as well. He can yeah. try push his weight where he can. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of weight as well. Um, <laughs> could so, you could you see him peeing into water bottles? That's the thing I can't see. That's the one thing I generally... I, the others, I can. Mm-hmm. But the others, I, I think he has a decency in class to at least hide behind a tour out, to like at least pee on the ground or something or go in a bush or something you know like yeah that that i can't see i don't know i mean if it is true and if the person has to dispose of that water bottle have it has any proof then i think he would lose a lot of respect from a lot of people Um, yeah touching upon your comment about him showing up late to the the wrestlemania fan event Mm -hmm. yeah that was true but he used it in a way to because he's a heel on that and a heel is a bad guy in wrestling so he used that to like antagonize the crowd in the performance by saying how like oh he's a boss of the WWE and the boss of his opponent so right. he can shot whenever he wants and then the crowd mm. just ate that up there was also another uh, thing about Wrestlemania as in the night they was actually supposed to fight was that he turned up late to that and yeah. one of the one of the I think chairmans or high high board members of WWE uh, mm-hmm. disputed that rumor he said they said no that's not true he he came in early so he could practice the rehearsals because that's what they do before the night events. And then he also like helped other people as well. So it's a bit of a, whether it's a PR covering on WWE's part or not, mm-hmm. um, it's something else. But yeah, it's just really, really weird to see this happening. Yeah. Um, further to that, yeah, an Amazon spokesperson because uh, Red One is being distributed by Amazon and they've denied this report. They've said that he's had nothing to do with the delay or the budget ballooning to, to whatever it is. So you, you might be right in terms of it's just, you know, PR management on the rocks part to, you know, save him, I guess, some clout. Um, so who knows what's actually going on, but I do think there is evidence there. And then when you have all these kind of reports and 
multiple different people um, because it was reported by the rap and they've had they've had multiple sources kind of confirm these at that point there's something wrong he's doing something wrong I'm not saying everything's true I'm not saying you know even this particular one in terms of red one that we're talking about right now is true but there is some conduct clearly happening on set that is upsetting other people whether it's you know Ryan Reynolds or Vin Diesel or, or Chris Evans what whoever it is there's some conduct there that's not good and i just i don't believe in wasting people's time especially you know when you when you got actors like chris evans or ryan reynolds they're busy guys they have a lot to do as well and i think it's just total disrespect on his part and if you know if we're going to talk about the pee and water bottles thing if there's like female employees around does that constitute a sexual harassment even sort if you're turned of. around, like it's it's pretty disgusting to do, like it's gross. Like it it would it reminds me of something my ex boss would do. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and we we know where that's gone, don't we, Nan? So yeah, the, the, this this is bad. Um, but all in all, in terms of my opinion on this, I just hope the Rock can figure out how to get out of this and how to not be like this because I don't want his legacy defined by being an intolerable person to work with. He has a really good legacy to uphold. I just hope he can, yeah, be a decent co-worker, I would say. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. guess we'll have to wait and see. You guys at home, what do you guys think? Do you think, uh, oh, boy, The Rock can pee in a bottle? Do you think he can shop late? Do you think he is a problem? Or do you think he's been attacked by a disgruntled production person? that he's worked with let us know in the comments below and yeah i mean i can't we can't prove it's right or wrong no one can unless the man himself admits to it so he said she said yeah. <laughs> <laughs>